my name is Grant Bingham. I'm Adam Morgan. I'm Bradley Peacock. And I am Kyle Bradbury. And our project is over the quadcopter. Oh. For our problem setting, we decided to go with a pizza delivery drone, and we were going to control the height through a control system. Force will be our input, and height will be our output. We have set three design requirements for our drone. The first being to reject disturbance because we do not want the force of gravity to affect our height. Second will be to have a low overshoot to help minimize oscillation and prevent damage to the pizza. The third design requirement will be to have a short rise time so the copter will be able to get to its desired height as fast as possible and to avoid tall objects on the way to its destination. Our system is modeled by a simple mass moving through the air while experiencing a mild damping effect due to wind resistance. We created this transfer function to model our system. We then used Simulink to apply the unit stem function and found that it had unbounded growth. The open loop transfer function has no zeros and two poles. The first pole is an integrator, so it's at the origin, and the second pole is in the left half plane that's dependent on the ratio between the damping coefficient and the mass of the drone. This suggests that the system should be Bebo stable, but this is not the case. As seen in the provided graph, the system is unbounded when the bounded ste step response is used as an input. The unit step is the most important input to examine because the desired height will be a constant value input into the system. We have three design requirements that we want to our system to have. The first is to be able to reject disturbance. This is done if the steady state height from gravity is zero. We also want to have a low percent overshoot so we do not damage the pizza. This is a success if the percent overshoot is less than 10%. Uh, we also want a fast rise time so the drone does not hit high objects while it's getting to its destination. This is a success if the rise time is less than 5 seconds. Using the SISO tool, we can find poles and zeros on our transfer function that help fill these requirements. From this, we get a controller that is shown in the bottom left corner. Uh, we have to have an integrator term so we can reject disturbance from gravity. Then we also have a proportional and derivative term that one helps keep the system stable, but also allows us to control two features of our design, which will be our percent overshoot and our rise time. We took the controller from the last part and put it into Simulink and applied a unit step input and a unit step disturbance. The response shown in the graph in the bottom right shows that gravity or the disturbance due to gravity is implemented at time zero and an input height of 20 meters starts at time 10 seconds. This is why you see such a flat line until 10 seconds and then the drone jumps upwards with a minimal overshoot. From this graph we can see that the overshoot is less than 5% and the rise time is about 0.1 seconds. Also, all the disturbance is rejected, so the response to the closed-loop system meets all our design requirements. From the Bodhi plots generated in MATLAB, we can see that our gain margin is infinite and our phase margin is 88.7 degrees. This means that while we can use any gain we want, we can only have a maximum of 0.1376 seconds of time delay before the system becomes unstable, which is verified by the graphs from Simulink.